trying to trust um, something that's been told to you, like something like like religion that's been like told to you, like, and then and then not look at the same logic behind like actual facts and evidence, and look at it in the same exact way, because like evidence is like presented to you and it's told to you and it, and you're supposed to believe it or, or you, you don't have to, but it, it's, that's why the evidence is there. I think that believe it. Religion, religion, religion is the same way. Atheists. Sorry, go on. I think Say that, that again? Metaphors are far more rational than atheists. Sure. You, you just said, you just said some, what? You just said some flat earthers are atheists though. No, no, no. I said that in my view, flat earthers are more rational than atheists. Not the ones that are Christian. I disagree. Or, or any, or religious in any shape or form. Because it's, again, like I said, this it's about logic. It's about common sense. Like, you yeah, can't... the most irrational position at all is to be an atheist. Okay. Is this going to turn into a religious argument? <laughs> I'm so confused. What? <laughs> I knew it, it's I only a matter of time. You need God for logic. You, you cannot you have logic without God. Thank you. What, what I mean, mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm we can talk about it. This, as an atheist, you mm -hmm. must literally believe that we mm -hmm. are the product of no thing. How do you sustain a, a sustain? What? Can we not can just? Can that? we not just? How do we sustain what? That to like God coming from the nothing? proposition that the physical universe, life, and consciousness needs no cause. How do you explain that? How do you sustain? Um, well, here's the here's the difference between atheists and any religion. Religion, they look at something that they can't understand, and then no, no, they no, try no, to no, put no, something no, in no, front no, of it no, to no, explain no. it. Just answer yes, my yes, yes. Just answer I'm my question. I'm bro. Wait, so I, I am. Wait, can I answer it really quick? I, I don't understand how you're comfortable yeah, go on. like not drawing that same comparison with religious people. Like, what is it really? It's origination wow. versus is nobody here what? able to actually address that. Like can you let him finish? Yeah. Um, it feels like the same question. It's like origination versus, you know, God's creation. It's, you know, I am just both of those things essentially come from nothing. And I don't no, think you no, would no, meet no. a lot of atheists that yes, really believe. Yes, it does. My God sure. has, has I understand. I understand, like, the, the Christian has logic always the religious logic. I do get it, I promise. Um, it, I lost my point. It, it's just... It's just logic though like i don't that's why like i'll I, i'll never understand religion is logic because like people like like say if, like a, a common example like um people don't explain like how god was created or what came before god they just say oh well that is what it just is and we don't know why that is but that is just what it is and you can't question that and my response is well why can't that same logic be applied to the universe? What if, yeah, you're right. What if we I, don't I know? Well, because there, that's, there, that's, that's really where I stand. Is I feel like agnosticism is the only cause and eternal scientific. for several but, reasons. These are scientific reasons, Big Bang. Then there is philosoph philosophical. No, reasons. but the Big Bang doesn't the explain. Bang the Big Bang does. In the past. And yes, the, the Big Bang points to a beginning of the universe. It still doesn't explain... No, 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 you're not getting it. It still doesn't explain, like, where... Like, the the way the Big Bang works is everything starts out as a singularity. N no one explains where that singularity comes from or what it is. That's my point. It's The, the same thing can be applied to religion. No one um, explains where God came from. They just say that's what was and that's the same logic that's even when applied to science all the way back to the big bang that's my point except for some reason uh, religions uh, I'm, I'm mostly pointing toward christians because they're like the biggest one they point towards uh, what i like to call centralism and they think that it's something that we do understand and I, it's the just thing is, the thing is I, that everything points to the conclusion that our universe isn't eternal back in the past, but had a beginning. And once you have, um, is it though? That's that, not. That's not then true. You need though. to explain what caused the universe into existence. 
And the proposition that the universe can be eternal in the past is simply not supported. This, by this is universe. why yes, I saw no, more but, on the atheist side of it is because I, I wait, don't fantastic. think there's wait, 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 wait. any atheists because, that would say that that is definitively the answer. I feel like there's a degree of skepticism that's absent within the. Wait, can, can I can I say a theory? What what if what if yeah you're right um we. You're saying that there's there's a beginning, but how do you know that that was the beginning? What if our universe expands and then contracts over and over and over again? You have no way of knowing that. So how do you actually know that it things do trace back to a beginning? Yeah, you're, first you're, of all, I don't need to know it. What I need to do is to have the best explanation. The best explanation is that the universe can't go infinitely back into the past one other reason is the second law of thermodynamics and this is why i'm not really we know we know that energy um it is uh, consumed in order to perform work and there will be a time in the future where we enter into a, a heat death where the, the universe cannot perform anything anymore because the the capacity of energy what do you mean a heat death why is, is is simply oh, not uh, 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 possible anymore to do anything. Works. That means that the universe also, in our past, must have had a beginning. Otherwise, we would already be in that state of heat death without any action anymore. Isn't? I'm sorry, but isn't isn't the universe getting colder? What? I'm so confused. I don't understand what no, you're trying to say. Heat death, heat death is when all the yeah. Entropy Highest in the entropy. universe starts with low entropy and ends with high entropy. And once the highest state of entropy is achieved or reached, then the universe is dead because yeah. the energy in the closed system cannot perform any work anymore. That means at the beginning there must have been kind of a clock which was wind up and now it, the energy is being used to perform work until it cannot perform any work anymore. And then we are in equilibrium. Universe equilibrium, which means there is no work performed anymore. Yes, no new bonds that can means, form. Etc. That means that the universe cannot be eternal in the past. Exactly. Uh, okay, yeah. Because I, I wherever see. matter yeah, is in yeah. motion, entropy occurs. And if oh entropy is... A, Entropy cannot have occurred, what Otangelo is trying to help you understand, is that entropy cannot have been occurring infinitely in the past, else all usable energy would have been expended infinitely long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, like, logic, like, it, it, you can still ask the same questions with or without a god, so the, it's just... Like me, me saying that that it's expanding and contracting and doing that. Oh, that's those are just like theories, but the same logic is still applied either way. They are not theories; they are hypotheses, which are not backed up by the evidence. You realize there's like, you realize that there's there was literally a theory where the universe started out like as a as a liquid, right? So all the this this these are all theories. Like you can't, you literally can't. You know what a theory is? We can it's refute bad theories with scientific yeah, he, He's not theory. saying scientific. He's saying but, the colloquial form of theory. Right. Because okay. when I say it's theory in the sense of Yeah, but just because if somebody invents a hundred theories doesn't mean that any of those theories are right. Well, when you're and, in the context of yeah, yeah. Okay, so what Otangelo is sharing with you are simple scientific truths. Entropy can't be occurring infinitely into the past. There would, it, it's not possible. There would be no usable energy. No, no potential energy left. I mean, you're making very absolute statements, but you should say okay. it's highly unlikely. But no, it's impossible. For all we, no, for all we know, the universe could contract mm -hmm. at the heat. No, death. the only so, way that's would not be something is you it's... can't say with certainty. I'm sorry. The only way entropy could be in occur occurring infinitely in the past is if there's an ener infinite energy generator somewhere that continuously adds energy. And never stops doing so ever. Yeah, what if there to is to replace the energy? No, that's the become energy hasn't converted. disappeared <laughs> from the system, right? The but system it's, no, it's has still energy X or it, one or whatever you want to say. It's the it's same. Con it's converted from it's potential just, uh, it's kinetic just to potential. entropy, right? Right, and entropy maybe, can't have been going on infinitely. There would be no light or heat in the universe this second if that were true. Sorry, could you repeat that? 
the universe would have no light or heat whatsoever yeah. if entropy had been going on always in the past. There'd be none now. I understand, but if you follow the theory... Okay, the, then. If you if understand. You follow, if you follow the theory of contraction, that the universe can contract and collapse on itself, then that's it. that doesn't really follow now, does it? Uh, no, so here's why that idea is wrong. Did you know that the cyclic universe... I understand that you can refute the it, it, argument. It is, I'm saying you can't I'm, I'm say it's refuting, impossible. I, I am telling you how... It, uh, the cyclic universe idea was coughed up by scientists in the 1960s. They stopped believing it. You, now what you've got today is a couple of wacken nuts in academia who are extreme leftists, as far as science goes, who are trying to revive the idea. Yeah, okay. left science. Of right. But here's why they gave it up. You know, there is a tool. I forget what it's called. And it's a toy. It's got steel balls hanging from the chains right and you pull one of the balls to the left and you let go and it clacks the others and the other one on the other end bounces up and it bounces it, it comes falls back down and hits the balls and the, the one on the other end bounces yes, up yes, it goes yes. clack 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 right right but eventually they stop clacking right because the energy to overcome gravity eventually is used up Right? Mm -hmm. That's what would happen with a cyclic universe. If the universe expands, its gravity of the mass of the universe is pulling on itself constantly while it's expanding. And then it contracts and explodes again. Each time it explodes, it explodes a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller. Until how, do you, how do you test this? Do it anymore. It's just simple physics. I mean, of course. Everything yeah. it's it's because of yeah. gravity. This right. is totally, this is totally because, impossible. Right. The universe could contract. Here, yeah. Here's, here's what you're physics. not understanding. Yeah. No, it's simple physics that it, that process, if it, it was real, couldn't go on infinitely because you're right. fighting gravity the entire time. Right. So, so, so what's gravity the wins. Wins. Fighting the gravity, and heat gravity wins. That's why it can't be true. I'll be back in a minute. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can get by that. It's, this is probably going to be an annoying point, but it assumes that there isn't a finger in the process pulling it. I no, I'm not saying that this isn't a religious argument per se, but the point mm. I'm making is there is a finger pulling it in the process. Is it acknowledged in that, I guess, experiment? Are, are you asking me? Uh, no, I was, uh, asking, I was asking Nephilim free, but anyone he, else is gone. welcome to answer. He said, yeah, he said yes to matters, yes right? to yeah, so what, yeah, I don't think it matters. So, yeah, the universe had a beginning at the expansion. So what? Right? They, right the, what, was, what was before the expansion, the, the, that dot could have been an infinitum, right, infinity, or there could have been a quantum field that, you know, the expansion came from. There's all kinds of other things other than a god that the expansion started, right? Yeah. yeah. Our, our local universe <laughs> our is, 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 is not eternal. So what? Yeah, you're right. The science may may back up like an ending to the, but it, it, that doesn't. That's not the point. The, the point the, is the, the, the biggest issue too with the heat death and stuff is it, it is uh, like our current projected like assumption of the universe. But but that's just from our perspective. We we, we don't have enough information yet to to tell generally if the universe will or will not contract. It just seems as though there will be a heat death. Yes, yes, the heat yeah, that somebody, seems to heard... be inevitable, but you claim that the crunch, as it's called, the big crunch, is a complete impossibility. is ridiculous to be so yeah. absolutely. Simple. I heard this. I heard. Yeah, I heard somebody really else explaining. Yeah, no, I heard another another thing that I've heard lately. I don't know how, like, um, things could like the universe could have popped out of nothing, right? If you think about it. We have yeah. uh, laws that are we have laws in our universe that we you know the phys laws of phys physics and uh, um, you know chemicals uh, and you know all this other, all these other laws right now we, that that's from our universe right they exist in our universe but if they didn't exist before then any contradictions or anything's possible and you could something could just pop into existence out of nothing because there were no laws to deny it from happening. So, and that's the other thing too. I don't know what, why it's such a big deal that, you know. So there must be a god. It just seems ridiculous. And yeah, and it, I think a lot of it stems around the assumption that, like, we. I feel like a lot of religious people think that we know, like, 